Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the Universal Smartphone Optics Adapter. They were nice enough to send this along, it's from Carson, and so I appreciate that. This is a pretty interesting adapter or accessory to pretty much any phone. Now this doesn't work with some of the larger phones, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. So you can see it's the Smartphone Optics Adapter, and basically what the idea is, you can take this adapter and it will adapt your iPhone or Galaxy S5 or S4 uh, to a telescope, or you can see here they've got microscope, binoculars, uh, pretty interesting idea. So you can see this is designed by Carson in New York, kind of an interesting play on uh, what Apple does, but that's okay. You can see you've got a quick reference guide and instructions for use, and that's pretty much it. It comes with this nice carrying case, and what this allows you to do is store this, but also take this adapter out. It's nicely fit in here, and it comes with this lens spacer, and I'll show you that in a moment. And what this does is simply adapt your phone to clip onto uh, the scope or, or whatever you might use, a telescope or whatever you have. So you can take some pictures with your phone through that picture or video. So you've got this, you just squeeze this here, and this part adapts to your lens. And then on this side, you can see it actually is adjustable and what you do is you flip these back and you can slide this in and out and on the bottom you can do the same with this clamp here I actually didn't take that off but you can take this and slide this as well so what you can do is here's an iPhone 6 and you can take this and you can see this moves too this is spring loaded and on the back here you can see there's your camera. So you'll need to kind of center that as best you can, slide in this side piece, and lock it down. And then you do the same for the bottom. So we'll lock the bottom, and now it's locked in place. So you can see the, the lens is right there, and maybe we need to slide it left or right. And you can adjust that once you clamp it on to whatever device you're using. So you can see I've clamped it on to a spotter scope. And this was actually a scope my father had, and I, I borrowed it to do this. And you can see that the scope is basically just a spotter scope you can mount on a tripod or whatever, and it lets you see quite some distance. And it really adapts to it nicely. You just simply squeeze those two spring-loaded prongs there I showed you, and it clamps onto the end. And then you can set it up on a tripod, and you can take video or pictures through it. It's really nice and really simple. Let me show you a picture or two from the spotter scope. And one of the issues you might run into that I did is, depending on the phone you use, you might need this lens adapter. And what this does is just simply go in between here on the back and it adapts to different types of lenses. So if you need a little bit bigger spacer from the type of lens you have between your lens and the lens of the camera of your phone, this will adapt that. And it works really nicely. You just gotta make sure you have the right depth there. And uh, I'm sure if you've used a telescope or a spotter scope or a microscope or whatever you're using, you understand that your eye needs to be a certain length from the lens to actually see it in focus. So that helps you do that a little bit better. And so do this rubber parts. It holds pretty well and seems to stay on there pretty stable. And that's pretty much it. You can see, you just go slide open the camera here and use your phone. And you can see these, but they're not in the frame uh, once they're adapted to whatever you're using. So you can squeeze these and it goes out of the frame, as you can see there. So it's a pretty nice product and it's not too expensive. It's around uh, 50 to $60. I don't know the actual retail price, but I was able to find it for around 50 to $60. And it's a pretty decent accessory, especially if you want to take a lot of photos through a telescope or something, you might have a pretty neat way to do that. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.